Today, I'm going to be sharing with you how we're going to achieve this manicure look using an ombre effect, which I'm going to be using the Ellie Girls Ombre Limited Edition uh, set. And this one is called Girls Night Out. And I purchased this on cherryculture.com. You also need some cheap O hairspray, any kind. Well, not any kind will do, but the spritz kind, not the aerosol cans. This was like 97 cents at Walmart. It's unscented and it's just white rain. So very basic hairspray. Cup of room temperature water. And you want to, of course, prep your nails and choose what color that you're going to be using in the water. I'm using the Wet n Wild Fast Dry Nail Polish in Ebony Hates Chris. And as my base coat of color, I'm using the Sally Hansen Insta Dry Whirlwind White. It's just a cream white nail polish. And the other colors we're using, of course, are in the ombre kit. For this ombre effect manicure we're going to be using these colors so a neon yellow neon orange a lighter peachy neon color and a pink and there's one color left in the kit I'm not going to be using and I'm going to be using the top coat to blend those colors together and you'll also be needing of course for your ombre a makeup sponge and I've already prepped my fake nail with a couple coats of white nail polish and that's had plenty of time to dry and since I'm working with quite a longer nail than mine I'm going to use this side of the sponge Now taking the sponge, you're going to press those colors on. You want to do this sponging as many times as it takes to get an even coat of the fade on there and one more time should do that After our fade's complete, we're going to take a clear nail polish, the one that came with the kit, and help those blend a little bit better. You're going to allow a few minutes for that to dry. It's your nails have had time to dry. You want to take your room temperature water and the color of your choosing. And drop several drops of that color into the water. I did like six drops. Let that expand for a minute. And then you take your hairspray and you hold it probably about six inches away and spray it. And it comes out a lot like the hand sanitizer um, way of doing this, but it has this like flame-like design to it too. And I really like that. So I'm just going to pick a spot and dip it in there. And just like water marbling 
of any kind you want to keep your nail in the water until you clean up the surface and this does get tricky because the hairspray leaves this weird film in the cup so the polish is a little bit harder to clean up and debris is in there but it does eventually clean up so and that's what your design looks like here's the design on this nail and you always want to allow your designs time up to dry and as always seal in your design using a top coat hope you enjoyed this nail tutorial found it helpful and fun um, it's a really neat design for summer or spring you can change up the colors underneath or you can do just one color underneath and do a different colored polish in the water it doesn't matter there's endless possibilities with this and thank you guys for watching